Since coming to City Light four years ago, uh, I've had two goals of primary importance to me. One is uh, undertaking a series of initiatives to improve the working environment, and the second is to kind of return the utility to a position of regional and national leadership in both in energy policy areas and in a variety of management innovations. Uh, last year, we started the J.D. Ross Achievement Award as one of a three-part kind of award program to help uh, achieve those very kinds of goals. Uh, in particular, we wanted to recognize and encourage outstanding performance on the part of employees. Uh, I'd say last year's program was a, was a great success. Uh, we identified some 15 employees, either in groups or individually, that saved the utility something in excess of $1.6 million. We provided those employees with awards up to $2,500. Uh, uh, that's uh, more than just pocket change, uh, and I think people uh, appreciated that. Uh, but the symbol of the giving and the recognition, I think, was as important as the actual dollar amount uh, itself. This year, we're looking for even better results, uh, but we need to depend upon you to help us achieve those results. The way we operate the dams on the Skagit River directly affects fish populations. To balance our need for power and the fish's need for water, Jonah Sui developed a computer model that quickly calculates the impact of water flows on salmon and steelhead in the Skagit. Thanks to Jonah, we can now have the answers we need in a matter of hours instead of the two months it took without his model program. It's Don McElray's job to see that commercial customers get the electric service they need when they need it. His ability to work effectively with customers and with department staff enable him to find solutions when customers' needs don't match our normal procedures. As a problem solver and troubleshooter, Don is one of the best. His skill at getting things done quickly saves the utility countless hours of work. As a supervisor, Don is teaching his diplomatic skills to others, improving his entire unit's efficiency and productivity. Before PCBs were known to be hazardous, City Light and other businesses sold used PCB-containing transformers to a scrapyard for recycling. When the toxic effects of PCBs were discovered, City Light and the other businesses assumed responsibility for cleaning up the site. As project manager for the cleanup, Terry Kakita coordinated the first voluntary cleanup of a Superfund site ever approved by the Environmental Protection Agency. Usually, the EPA hires contractors to stabilize and clean toxic sites, and then charges the responsible parties up to three times the actual cost of the cleanup. By retaining control of the project, Terry not only solved the problem at a greatly reduced cost, but as a direct result of his work, City Light is now the nationally recognized leader in this area. Power schedulers at the Power Control Center sell surplus electricity directly to other utilities and some industries. These sales are billed by contract directly through the Power Supply and Planning Division, and it used to take an average of 15 days to get the bills out. P.J. Mellum, Brian Johnston, Patrick McNally, and Jim Hansen developed two new computer systems to track sales and get the bills out faster. Billings now take an average of five days, cutting the time by two-thirds and allowing City Light to earn extra interest on the money billed. How much? Thanks to PJ, Brian, Patrick, and Jim, in 1987 alone, we'll earn more than $25,000 in additional interest. Working as a team, eight employees from three separate units of the Finance Division found another way to save the utility a tremendous amount of money and interest. George Gaw, Joe McGovern, Brud Easton, Dick Koch, Randy Sable, Barbara Valenti, David Tran, and Darcy Mosey took the initiative to plan and carry out the sale of $250 million in new bonds and use the money to pay off older bonds which carried a much higher rate of interest. By managing to catch the market at the right time and pay off the expensive bonds with low interest bonds, they saved more than $600,000 this year alone. Projected savings over the next 20 years are in the millions of dollars. We're very proud of the results we achieved in 1987, thanks to a lot of cooperation among managers, supervisors, and individual employees. Uh, I think perhaps the best gauge of, of the success that we've had 
is the way uh, the rest of the city and the rest of the utility industry nationwide kind of views this program. And this gets back to kind of the leadership uh, example that I mentioned earlier. Uh, I've been asked to speak before major American Public Power Association national conferences twice in the last year on just this program, not just J.D. Ross, but uh, High Voltage Performance and our Safety Awards program. Uh, each time I've done that, it's been through a packed house. Uh, I think that's an excellent example of, that we're viewed as a leader in the national, nationally in the utility industry uh, with this kind of program. Uh, the other part of that is within the city. Uh, just recently, the city council passed a general awards ordinance for all city departments. Uh, that general legislation was an outgrowth of the pilot legislation that we got passed two years ago to set up this program and its uh, other two counterparts within the utility. Uh, those are excellent examples of, uh, of the benefits that we get, uh, not just in terms of, of internal benefits uh, and recognition of our own employees, but the kind of credit that comes to the utility for being an innovator and being a leader, and, and you're all part of that, and I certainly hope you'll be part of that this year. Uh, I guess I'd say kind of in summary that uh, uh, we've made significant advancements through the J.D. Ross program uh, in recognizing and rewarding outstanding performance. But we need your continued support and enthusiasm to keep this program going. And take the time to nominate them, to fill out the form uh, and suggest them for a J.D. Ross Achievement Award. Uh, I think what you'll find when you do that uh, is not just that the individual employee, when he or she is eventually selected, uh, is, uh, is highly motivated and, uh, and, uh, uh, and very appreciative, you'll find a tremendous amount of satisfaction yourself for having been able to single out and had some part in rewarding and recognizing those kinds of employees. Uh, we've got the tools for you to use, but I'm dependent upon your enthusiasm and cooperation to make it work. Uh, so with that, uh, uh, we look forward to having a, another great set of awards programs of which J.D. Ross is a, is a very prominent part uh, uh, this year, uh, and I just want to encourage you to, uh, to lend your support and, and think of those deserving people within the utility, and we've got an awful lot of them uh, uh, that are potential uh, good candidates for this kind of program. Thanks.